Fazia. I'm the head of research at the Wikimedia, the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, I, on behalf of uh, the organizers of the workshop, I'm welcoming you to this edition of Wiki Workshop. Um, I'm going to start sharing my screen, and this going it is going to take uh, some seconds. Um, Actually, I'm going to share my entire screen. Um, um, so the organizers of the workshop are Bob West from EPFL, Miriam Reddy and Emily Desai from Wikimedia Foundation and myself and Srijan Kumar from Georgia Tech. We have been working on organizing the workshop for you since uh, September of 2021. Uh, and we are super excited that finally the day is here and you're with us in Wiki Workshop. Thank you so much for joining us early, during, uh, early in the program. Um, we started Wiki Workshop in 2015 uh, in ICWSM, and since then we have been going in ICWSM and primarily uh, with the web conference uh, throughout the world. Um, we have uh, gone to different places. Uh, we have tried to build different communities and bring people together around the topic of research on the Wikimedia projects. Um, I think the main theme for Wiki Workshop as we look back has been that our focus has been to build and strengthen the free knowledge and um, Wikimedia research communities. Um, and the program that you will see today will also reflect that wish that we come together as a community, get to know each other and exchange ideas about how to improve the free knowledge and Wikimedia uh, projects. Um, for those of you who are new to the space of Wikimedia, I'll just say very briefly, uh, there are multiple uh, Wikimedia projects. Uh, Wikipedia is, of course, the one that uh, everyone in this room will know. There's Wikidata, uh, which is the knowledge base behind Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, which is the media repository, Wikisource, Wiktionary, and more, more projects. Our concern in this workshop is primarily to understand these projects better. How do people collaborate with one another on these projects? Um, and how we how can we reduce the barriers for um, increasing the knowledge on these projects and also easing the dissemination of knowledge on these projects? We have put together a program for today that we are very excited to share with you, and I'm going to walk you at a high level over the program for you to have a sense of what's going to happen in the next six and a half hours together. There are going to be pl plenty of opportunities for us as a community to get to know each other a little bit more. Um, there, is, uh, there are going to be specific uh, plans and programs for that. I encourage you to participate in, in them. These are all going to be optional. However, um, it is important uh, for us that you engage with them, particularly because we are in this online setup where we don't see each other in the room and it's easy to forget who's in the room and why are we here. Um, there, we're going to, in half an hour or so, start with the research sessions. So you're going to hear from the authors of 25 papers who have been accepted as part of Wiki Workshop, their presentations about their ongoing or completed research projects. And you will have plenty of opportunities to ask questions and participate in the debate around the research. Um, for those of you who are returning from last year, uh, Ugne is back uh, with live music um, and her beautiful voice. She's going to be with us throughout the workshop and you're going to hear the live music of her um, throughout the day. We have, uh, similar again to last year, we are organizing a panel this year. The panel moderator is Eric Muller and the topic of the panel is the Sopan People Blackout of the 2012. Um, the panel is going to reflect on the decade anniversary of SOPA and is going to attempt to help us understand how we can counter legislation that threaten internet freedom. We're going to have the Wikimedia Research uh, Award of the Year session where the researchers for the recipients of the award will join us and we're going to have a special guest who's going to present the awards to the researchers. And our keynote speaker is Larry Lessig. Larry is going to join us and he's going to talk with us about how can the internet be so good at and so bad, the lessons that we, may, uh, we should learn from Wikipedia. Um, I'm going to pass the mic now to Emily, who is going to walk us through the orientation. All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We have a few logistics to go through before we get started. Um, so first we want to recognize the great diversity that we have among the presenters and attendees today. 
so 80% of the attendees report a non-English language as their native language. And collectively, we speak 49 different languages as our mother tongues. So bearing this in mind, um, think about how you interact with others today. So be patient and welcoming toward each other. And we ask that you try to slow down when you speak. 33% of the attendees identify as women, non-binary, or genderqueer. So please be aware and actively work to help everyone feel included throughout the workshop. 62% of the attendees are attending for the first time. And so if you're a Wiki Workshop veteran, we ask that you please help newcomers feel included. And 31% of the attendees are students. So we're very excited to welcome the next generation of researchers to the workshop. And if you're a more senior member of the community, please keep an eye out for students. So traditionally Wiki Workshop is a research focused workshop. However, over the years, we've expanded the audience from only researchers to also include engineers, practitioners, policymakers, volunteer editors, and staff from free knowledge organizations. So this year, 33% of our attendees uh, identify as non-researchers. 22% of attendees uh, are volunteers or organizers. And these individuals have really critical on the ground knowledge of the projects. So we're very excited to welcome these uh, groups with us today as they help us to increase the diversity of perspectives in our conversations. And 18% of our attendees come from Wikimedia organizations and affiliates. So they may be staff members of affiliate organizations or staff members of the foundation. What do we want to achieve? Why are we here today? Uh, I got really energized reading all the reasons why um, you all wanted to be here today. And here's kind of some high level themes that emerged. Um, so we're here to learn about the Wikimedia projects and research on or about them. We're here to learn about the Wikimedia movement, uh, different career paths in data science or machine learning, and how to apply uh, these themes to real world applications. Uh, we're here to present research. We're here to interact with the community and network. We're here to get research support as an editor, contributor, or educator. We're here to exchange ideas, start new collaborations, and most of all, have fun. So we'll be meeting today in this Zoom room. Um, we do encourage that you turn your camera on if you're able to and feel comfortable doing so, so that you can connect with others. We invite you to send messages in the chat to interact with each other. And you're welcome to use the reactions feature. And if you've never used it before, this is a great time to try it out. Um, so if you look at the bottom of your Zoom screen, um, you'll see a little smiley face with a plus sign. So if you hit that, you can clap, you can raise your hand, you can give a thumbs up. Um, so this is a really great way to um, affirm and celebrate each other as we present and discuss today. And as a note, this virtual room will be recorded throughout the day and the presentations will be shared on the Wikimedia Foundation YouTube channel, as well as on the Wiki Workshop website. If you have any questions of the presenters or any technical questions, um, we do encourage you to seek help. Um, so throughout the workshop, you can type your questions in the chat. During the breaks, you're welcome to unmute yourself and use your voice to answer or to ask questions. Uh, if your question is for the organizers, you can direct it to us by mentioning organizers in your message or question. And you'll see that uh, the four of us who are co-organizing this event, we all have organizer listed in front of our Zoom names. So you should be able to find us pretty easily. As far as question and answer sessions go for the presenters today, um, we do have dedicated time for these. And so our moderators throughout the day will let you know when question and answer sessions will be taking place. And you have two options for asking questions. Uh, you can type them in the chat and we'll also be sharing a collaborative notes document where you can also uh, list your questions or comments. And the moderators for the sessions will be asking questions on your behalf. And this is to keep us on our time schedule for the day. Um, you're also welcome to raise your hand either by um, typing in the chat um, or using the Zoom feature, the reactions feature. Um, and you can ask your question when it's your turn. 
And just to bear in mind, um, we're here to build a community. Um, so we do ask that you follow the Wikimedia friendly space policy, uh, that you operate and interact based on humility and respect throughout the workshop. Take breaks when you need to, make sure you have a good time. And if you need help, um, again, please feel free to reach out. Um, you can email the organizers at wikiworkshop at googlegroups.com. You're also welcome to uh, message one of us in the chat. And please feel free to tweet or share your experiences on LinkedIn. Um, we ask that you use the hashtags wikiworkshop2022 or the web conference. Um, you can also mention us on Twitter at wikiworkshop. Okay, so I think I take over.